I just saw this like five seconds ago. See right there, hang on. <gasps> Look how beautiful that is. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Just one piece of emerald crystal on a schist. This is where it came from and I haven't even put it away and then I just look over to my right and hiding in there. I don't even know how I saw that, but anyway. Okay. Just there. Oopsie daisy. A tiny bit of emerald crystal again. <sighs> Although it's small. Look at that. Eh? Showing the crystal structure of the emerald. I'm going to hang around this area because now I'm going to concentrate my efforts in just looking for specimens here. Located in Western Australia, this video was made it was under an exploration mining lease. The first thing I like to do is look at malachites. Not all malachites will contain emerald. One has to do some noodling to find fragments or chips on the surface of the malachite. If I'm not finding any chips at all, then I move on to the next malachite. Also, if you do find some chips, make sure it's the darker color. So you have the light colored ones, which are the barrel, or I consider them a barrel, and the dark green ones are the emerald. So if I'm finding some dark chips, so then I tend to concentrate my effort on those malachites. The angle of the sun is very important as well. So if the sun is behind you, so this is a nine o'clock sun. So the sun is a couple of hours up on the east, so that's where I have my shadow, as you can see there, so I can look in this area here and any emerald that's on the surface can easily be seen. So this side of it, or this face of this malachite is on the dark side. Because I've got a malachite here and it's being covered, uh, the sun is sort of just over it. If you have a hat on you, it is much easier to see. So like right now I've got a cap on. So if it's this, the sun is on my face, I'm trying to twist here, and it's very difficult to see with the sun against, I mean, on your face. So I like to keep the beak of the hat to cover it. So that way when I'm looking, all I could see is sort of darkish, but it highlights everything. So it's a bit like that's green, and that's sort of uh, mustardy or yellow, and the reds and the black, of course and I'm trying to see if I can spot an emerald here but anyway you get the idea so if there's any emerald or green stone uh, that's showing then you can easily see it as well so and these flies as well is annoying anyway this is what I say when you can just look on the surface or noodle this is what you'll see in here so, first of all, I'll pick up this tiny, tiny one. See, there's a tiny little crystal, emerald crystal on the end. So I've got one there. And in here, you got these white quartz, but that is a green barrel crystal. And hiding underneath another emerald crystal. And in here, another barrel and that one is another piece of green barrel on my left hand side here see that just sitting there and there was another one over here uh-huh and I saw one somewhere else uh, and I don't know I'm lost now so 
There's quite a few in this area. So noodling was, oh here another one, there behind me. And also at the back here, okay. I'm not even gonna move because look at that. Hey, can you see that one? Another uh, crystal. And I don't know if I'm stepping on some, but anyway, I'm not even gonna move. I'm not even gonna breathe. It's wobbly time again for me. Wobbly time. It said the camera's gonna go all over the place again. Cause look at that. Look at that huge big. Um, I mean amethyst, not amethyst. It's emerald, 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 emerald. Oh, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice big emerald. Nice big emerald. Look at that. Hang on. That is big. Oh my goodness. That is huge, huge. Okay, there's no sunlight anyway. That is a nice big emerald. I got a big emerald. I got a big emerald. Okay, now I have to calm myself down and look. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, while I'm in the area where that big emerald is, now I'm gonna go to the left and oh, look, look, another one. Another one. Look at this one. Another emerald, okay, probably not as good as the other one, but nevertheless, it's still emerald. Okay, see that? Okay, uh, and so now I'm going to point you to a lighter one I just saw, but I missed it. Okay, that one there. That's only probably a barrel. I would call that a barrel. Okay, it's a barrel crystal. There you go. So, anyway, so where there's uh, one, there's normally two, and maybe there's another third one somewhere. From my left, going to my right, and I see a fragment again. Fragment, okay. Small one, small chip. And I'm looking up the top, and look. <gasps> a nice green one, can you see that? Oh, nice green one, small one, but it's still a nice green one. Hoo-hoo, emerald heaven. Even though it's windy, I don't care. So. When I say that they tend to hang around each other, when originally when the miners found them, they are in pockets wherein there's a concentration of beryl or emerald crystals. And this is a good example of one which I just found from there. And you can see some emerald crystals uh, through uh, the host rock embedded in this um, mica. So anyway, it's all through it. So you can see the another piece of emerald crystal there and there. So it looked better once I cleaned this up. And also, hang on, put it in the bucket. And then this one is a tiny bit at the end there. So you can see, that's a nice uh, emerald crystal. Really nice green color. I would call it an emerald uh, because of the darker uh, tone of green. And also where my jar is okay there's another piece here which is just a tiny glint again of a couple of bits of crystals emerald crystals and also a fragment of the host rock but that is still uh, emerald so I like to keep a close eye on the area that I'm in so don't be too hasty I don't like being too hasty and moving on to the next spot until I'm absolutely sure that I've cleaned the area out so now I'm just looking at the top and then again another piece here that's a nice small crystal again so hang on I'm gonna put my camera down and put this away hang on put the lid on just so I don't have an accident just in case I knock it over and again hang on wait another one here there you go there should be more so I'm on this face uh, which is sort of slopes down and you can see a tiny green in there you see that that's a piece of emerald so I don't like to uh, trample the ground I'm noodling on that way uh, emerald doesn't get covered in and the big one bigger one bigger one bigger one look at that one so it's only a specimen I think but 
you can see the little green bits hang on I'll take away my gloves uh, so there you go tiny bits of small emerald and I just saw a nice green one and uh, the Sun coming out as well see that Hang on while you that one there look at that beautiful that beautiful the rain is about to start again and I'm just about to go back into camp and uh, one for the road is a nice emerald again so at least I could cut that even though it's small I could still cut that and the rain is dropping uh, hang on so I better I better I better go back to camp anyway hang on is that a crystal that's a tiny bit of crystal here as well okay so okay I have to stop I'll just come back here I just marked this spot the highlight of the morning I just started is this emerald crystal so first things to take the pressure off myself I thought I'll find one it's big no it's just luck um, this is about I don't know eight probably eight carats or so uh, I can see a bit of color on the tip of it like um, transparency but this is a good example of an emerald crystal from Western Australia check this out oh oh my god look at that look at that one just sitting there oh, look hasn't been touched and it's just sitting there look at that how huh? beautiful look at that beautiful beautiful look at that. oh nice big emerald crystal and it's still got the schist on it oh. okay so that's a crystal in there but looks like there's another piece on top of that so now uh, your mission if you choose to accept it is to find the other half of that somewhere in here which is oh look Look at this one. Hang on. Whoa! Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Okay. No, it's the mother. It's the mother. I don't know where the other half of that, but that's the mother there. So again, that's a crystal. See? Okay. That's a big specimen. So it would have come from other pieces that it would have broken off from a host rock like something like that and it's all full of emerald crystals on it and then now we have to find the other bits okay so that one we have to dig that out as well okay well would you mind digging that up please hang on oh no I can't because I have to find the other half okay you go fetch <laughs> get me a bigger one I've already unearthed that piece so now it's on she still see all this shiny stuff eh? and so it's like that when it's washed so or cleaned but it looks like in an egg it's like a crystal encased in a little um, nodule basically because it's solid like a rounded egg there and that's where it grew so I'm gonna keep it as a whole piece like that as a specimen that would be good for the display cabinet showing how the emerald crystal is formed someone has worked this area before and of course um, they actually rake some of the dirt on the edges here and probably at the time this is all covered with dirt but now it's exposed that beautiful beautiful look I'm gonna pick it up now hang on I probably should take a picture but doesn't matter never mind but look at that ah that is beautiful look at the color oh my lordy it's beautiful beautiful look at that beautiful <laughs> okay that's the, the the find for the day for me anyway although it's only small it's probably one and a half carat but still look at that beautiful this is our last day here so I'm just in the middle of the road here picking up some more last bits of emerald and so far I've been uh, collecting them for the last 10 minutes and those are the bits I found so barrels and a couple of emeralds and hang on while I'm talking again there's a light colored one here oops okay a nice big one look at that huh 
and that's it we are now heading into town and moving on to the next uh, leg of our journey into the gold fields